Have you ever wondered where do I put all of my filament so that my working area doesn't get messy? You can most definitely go out of your way and get shelving racks or enclosed storage closets. But if you have filament, why not use it? Today, I will show you how to put together your own vertical shelving for filament that saves you space. As you can see, I have already made storage for PLA and PETG. Today's shelving will house TPU. The first thing I printed were the feet. It is crucial that you clean your bed plate first. You don't want your feet to not be level or adhere to the bed plate while printing. So do yourself a favor and clean your bed plate first. It'll be the deciding factor whether your shelving unit will wobble or not. It's a simple print and it doesn't take too long. I printed mine in PETG mainly because I keep my filament in the garage. The weather fluctuates and you never know how hot or how cold it will be. If you plan on keeping it indoors, print it in PLA. After I printed the feet, I started to print the shelving. Be careful when you print it because it's very close to the edge of the bed plate. That's why I also recommend using glue. You can raise your bed plate temperature as well. I have mine set for 70, but if you're printing in PLA, I'd say around 60. Glue wouldn't hurt, it's just another layer of protection so that your print doesn't mess up. Your next print should be the posts. I decided to print mine in batches instead of having 16 print all at once. This substantially reduces the potential of your print head running into one of the posts and making them fall and ruining your print with a bunch of spaghetti. The one thing I recommend when printing these posts is to add a five millimeter brim. This helps with stability as well as adhesion. After printing the posts, you should consider printing the storage tray as well. I like mine to have it because it lets you store tools from pliers to filament cutters, glue, magnets, whatever you like really. But if you don't want the extra tray to put the finishing touches on your filament storage tower, you don't have to print it. All you would need to do is add the end caps and you're done. Bear with me guys, we're almost at the fun part. The last part for the tower you need to print are the end caps for the posts. They are quick to print and you don't need to pay extra special attention to them. You are finally done with the printing aspect of this project. Now let's put all of these parts together. For the first layer, what you'll do is add a shelf to the feet. Once you have done that, screw the posts to the feet. If you go back in this video, you can see that they are threaded. When you start tightening them on, go easy. Don't over tighten them. Keep adding shelves and posts until you have reached your desired height. Then finally add the tray at the top and then screw on the end caps and you're done. Stay tuned because I will have a short coming out soon for the cards that are on the trays differentiating what type of filament is being used. You can always use a label maker, but since this is a printing channel, I'd like to keep it as such. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button, comment if you have any ideas, and subscribe to keep the channel growing. Many thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Monkey Talk, out.